So after being woken up at 5.30 and brought downstairs, uh, one kid peed himself on the couch. Um, oh, another no. walked into the dining table. Um, and then the dog threw up three times on that same couch. And so started my 35th birthday. <laughs> happy birthday (laughs) (laughs) the adult beverages are poured the kids are asleep welcome to new dad gaming a show about fatherhood gaming and new fathers figuring out their gaming lives my name is trevor and i have a three-year-old and a one-year-old and my name is jeff i have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old and i'm standing in the midst of (laughs) Kid pee, dog vomit, another kid wailing because he slammed his head. And it's like, huh, I'm 35, huh? <laughs> You're just questioning your life choices at that point. You're just, this is it. This is it, eh? This is what I did. But, oh. All right, well. But besides that um, ominous start, uh, the rest of the birthday was great. Oh, that's um, good. So, in fact, let's go ahead and cheers to my birthday. Yes. Because... Finishing off the summer with our Gaming Dad Beer Pick series, uh, we have our last choice of the night, which Jeff and I will go ahead and open now. Enjoy and uh, give a little couple notes towards the end of it. So anybody listening that has a beer, uh, <laughs> go ahead and crack it open and uh, cheers to all the Gaming Dads. Yeah, cheers. Happy birthday again. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Taking sips just makes for good radio. <laughs> <laughs> but the... Yeah, so that, there it was at the birthday, and it, it was just staring at that colossal mess and reevaluating my life. It was <laughs> wondering what on earth my birthday was actually going to be like. Now, I'll say it had a heck of a happy ending. The, the birthday was fantastic, um, besides some incredible surprises for my wife and my kids, which are absolutely darling. I mean, having your kids sing happy birthday to you, Especially when they're yeah. so little. Yeah. It's it's just so adorable. Like that's it's the cutest thing in the world, yeah. Oh, and they're so happy. It's also largely because I think <laughs> they know they're getting cake. Oh yeah, it's for them. Yeah. As soon as they get done with the song, they get a slice of that cake. It doesn't matter if you blow at the candle or not. <laughs> well they blow they're coming for it. And of course they blow my candles. Like it's not like yeah, I get Oh the- yeah, of course. <laughs> you could offer it, but really, they're yeah. gonna blow it out. As as it should be. But um so that was just darling, but I, I, some of the best parts though was some time to myself. Like it, besides some excellent time with my wife and my kids and other family members, which was all amazing. There was just a couple blocks of time given to me to be alone, to have some dad calm, to play some dad games. It was just, it was beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it was so yep. peaceful. So the so two <laughs> games so two games I did play. Uh, one one was Hearthstone. Somewhat unsurprisingly, but because I I have a pretty decent deck and I had wanted to get to level 15. So in Hearthstone, um, as I've kind of mentioned in the show, they have um, kind of floors you get to. So mm-hmm. once you get past level 20, you can't go below. Once you get past level 15, can't go below 10, 5, legend. And I, I was close to 15 and I knew I could do 15. Yeah. And I did 15 on my birthday. Oh, there you so go. Look, look, look at that. Up. And I was done. I'm like, all right, that's about that's as much as I can possibly do. I think I'm signing off. That's it. As far as the effort goes, and like, oh, especially I mean, with gaming, the times when you really earn the victory, mm-hmm. it's such a like. There's some games you'll play where it's just a mismatch, or the person has a bad connection, something, and this could be in any game. But you just you win, but it's not. You didn't really earn the win, right? This yeah. like this one I I have never earned a oh. harder match at Hearthstone. It was so it was neck and neck. I drew okay. He drew fantastic. He did everything he wanted to do, and I still beat him. Okay. Yeah, and it's such it's a cheap card. Wild. Like it, <laughs> I won't go I won't go to all the nuances of Hearthstone, but like the you know I have thirty life. The opponent has thirty life. The idea is to like hit him with minions and bring him down to zero. Okay. Yeah. There's something in Hearthstone they introduced called a quest. Where if you do these, you know, seven or eight things, you get this super crazy bonus. And this one okay. is if you play seven of this particular type, you get 40 life, no matter where you were. Right? What? Yeah, your life goes all the way up to 40. <laughs> okay. So I had beaten this dude down, like, all the way to, like, eight. Yeah. 
And then he got this thing. He got his quest. And he went all the way back up to 40. And he's like, all right, man, whatever. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm bringing you back down. Don't, whatever. This is happening. And I wow, did it. Wow, you're not even defeated at that point. You're just like, this. no, this is going to happen. Oh, because it was... I had a good hand. It was ready to go. And like I said, so it, it was earned. It was glorious. It was beautiful. <laughs> Made my 15... He knew- he knew it was your birthday. He's like, I'll give it in. I'll just... yeah. I wonder, maybe my icon had a little hat. So that was great. Yeah. Now, the and the other game I played, I, I wanted to ensure I didn't <laughs> just play Hearthstone on my birthday. Um, I got back into Doom. So Doom is one uh, is on my game oh, right. list. Yep. I've been trying to get through it, really enjoying it. But I got to say, you, re, Doom is a real, really different beast, right? Beautifully yeah. so. Because, well, beast, haha. Devil game, sure. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah, you were going there. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I'm very sorry. Yeah, right. Bad jokes just, they fly out now. I can't they help come it. Out, yeah. But, you know, some, some of the shooters, it's like kind of a lot more methodical and careful. Like a lot of times I find in shooters, it's you progress a little bit, and then as soon as you see, see, see somebody, you're just yeah. walking backwards. Slowly. Yeah, you do like little pop. You, know, or you pop them a little bit, and they go under a corner yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Or you get some cover, or you know, yeah, it's very it's kind of slower. Yeah. Like not Doom, yeah. man. That is like full out. No, arcade. man, <laughs> you cannot do that. You have to jump. You have to do glory <laughs> kills. You you have to kill people with your chainsaw. Otherwise, you're not going to have enough bullets to finish everybody else. Right. Like it yes. is action, and it has to be action strategically. And it's so you you have to kind of break yourself out of old habits with shooters <laughs> to get into it. And when you are though that's a good time like that that game is just it's so it's such a fresher breath of air amongst games it honestly is so well, yeah it'll let you kind of loose in this demonic s- sandbox of sorts and you just run around as fast as you can killing as many people as you can at once so, so i can see would... it as like a yeah a twitchy kind of gameplay so i was, was kind of hoping to beat it before we recorded oh, so that i could move didn't on to beat the... it I still haven't beat it. I, I'm super close. I have to be close. I'll tell you this, actually. If it's not close, I'm probably going to stop playing. <laughs> but, well, I mean, and I, I'm halfway through the game. I yeah. found out I was halfway. <laughs> it's it's enjoyable, and it's, it's not yet overstaying its welcome. But if it okay. tries, if it turns out I'm only like two-thirds there, yeah. it, it'll have it. overstayed its welcome. I need to move on because I need to get through this list. But okay. I, th- I think I'm there. I got to be there. You heard it here first. <laughs> We'll find out next week <laughs> whether I truly beat it or just watch the final on uh, YouTube. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see what how it ends. That's fine. Man, have, have you not done that yet? Where it's just you gave up on a game, you just went to YouTube, or even it's either don't finish it, show me the ending, or even better, beat it, don't get the good ending, but you don't have yes. enough yeah. wherewithal to go oh, through it. Have you done that? To- totally. Witcher. Witcher. There's like. <laughs> Eight endings. I'm not going through another 110 hours to make three different choices to get that ending. So, oh, yeah. No, I watched the YouTube montage of all the endings. I'm like, there. Save myself probably three lifetimes worth. I remember, doing that, through, with, um, so. I remember doing that with Mass Effect 3, where... Oh, that's another big one, too. I got, I got an ending, and then... <laughs> Well, good or bad, yeah. just neutral, just it's there. It was fun. It's, you know, like it's, it was a difficult game for them, I'm sure, to finish. Uh, the ending certainly left some things to be desired. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. happy with my choice, but I was not going to go do it again. So, yeah, just hopped online, watched the endings, was further disappointed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. You're like, oh, well. Yeah. yeah. They was, all kind of suck. I was disappointed no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but yeah, but Doom was just fantastic. So I, I think it close to beating it. Then I have to figure out what's next on my docket, which I think is I think it's God of War would be next. So okay, <laughs> finally beating God of War, so we can talk about it. Dad of yeah. War after so long. <laughs> one, one would they they're kind of thematically similar in a way. <laughs> like, <laughs> You're still going around just slicing and dicing things. Yeah, so. first, you know, first I'm going to, uh, if I'm not playing a god, I'm trying to fight the devil, so. Yeah. You know. That's right. You don't want to commit any more gaming sins of, uh, you're not adding to this bucket list, are you, at all? Okay, well, so. <laughs> okay, so you stuttering there makes me think that this isn't 
this now you, well, you, you, this isn't the same now there's this really great facebook page called uh, new dad gaming <laughs> <laughs> i think i've heard of it i think i subscribe and one of the moderators happened to post up a sale of Baldur's Gate on mobile. Okay, yeah. I remember that post. Yeah, I bet you do. And, and Baldur's Gate, that's not a mobile game. It's not a half game. That is a nope. full total game. I understand to yeah. be voice, act, voice acted as well. Yep. Yeah, there's some voice acting in there. It's, yep, that's a lot. Highly, long, highly long heralded. <laughs> totally <laughs> offline. And it's just like, yep. okay. <laughs> it's... As far as like a full on RPG game that on yeah. mobile for any of the time yeah. when I have that type of downtime, <clears throat> that that sounds like something that I'm missing. So that <laughs> so, I was, so I was willing to I was willing to sin for that much. Wow. Yes. No, don't don't you judge me, Jeff? Don't that's you ju- a long that's a long game. As as if you've never pulled any gaming sins, Jeff. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm an angel, but yes, I had completed. <laughs> Uh, gaming sin i bought probably one of the most loathed games ever uh oh, battlefront no. 2 <gasps> i bought that sucker oh that's a, so, that's against your word that's been canceled pre-order yep. no less that was it oh how yep uh, yeah oh, as trevor mentioned I, fallen what has happened i know i had that sucker pre-ordered and then they put in all those transactions and uh, walls where you have to grind to get the next heroes and stuff. And I said, you know what? I'm canceling this. I'm not. I'm, it's not happening. But Proud then dance dance for nothing. Walk along a PlayStation flash sale, and I bought it for about ten bucks. So, um, <laughs> so they got very little money for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're not getting their budget back. I will say it is a fantastic looking game, but mm. yeah, it's probably worth about ten dollars in terms of content. <laughs> There's what not much there. About worth about ten dollars. You what want a, a campaign to review. beat you? You beat that one. That one's like six, seven hours. I'm not mm. joking. Like, so a good six yeah. or seven hours. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's <sighs> what it's a shame. graphically and sound and all that is all total Star Wars, but it is not a good story to me. It's not the greatest at all. Mm-hmm. And some of the choices in there, like some of the game mechanics are just shoddy. They're just, they don't introduce anything new. It's not that Man. fun. You're just kind of going through it. But my kids and I love that um, Star Wars world and to be in there and I can play with them as a co-op. Um, well, that's yeah, it's nice. fun. So we, we do that and just have a blast playing whatever hero we want to be now because no. they did remove a lot of that stuff so it's not totally horrible i would never pay 80 bucks for it but ten dollars is good now playing co-op it's with my... your kids is it yeah uh, that's online against people or is it it's campaign okay no it's not campaign no, so it's, it's not. just you against a uh, scenario or against waves of bad guys which is enough to appease them and me where I, we can run around doing the same thing or i face them and beat their butts so <laughs> Whatever. Assert my dad dominance. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I'll say, so for my worst gaming purchase ever, Battlefront, um, yeah. some of the true only fun I ever had with it was the Wave um, gameplay with a buddy of mine. Like, that was rich. It was fun. Like, it really felt like Star Wars, but it just kept pushing yep. you into online, which was yeah, lousy and boring. Like, I'm going to die in online. I don't want to go there and meet people that have been there for the last two years. I think it's been two years or maybe a year um, where they know everything about the game. I'm not going on there to... Uh, my friend's kid is online there. I'm not going in and meeting him <laughs> and then getting beaten by him. That's not that's not something I want to endure. I have to I'm see the kid at dinners, that. man. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not going to your house. Your kid beat me in Battlefront. It's not happening. Oh, so, so what, what what is the game mix for you guys, uh, especially with your kids these days? Like, what are what games are you playing with your guys? Uh, Zelda, a lot of Zelda. They're, Mario they're into Odyssey. Zelda too. Yep. yep. So, how do, so like they control, or you? They watch you control. My oldest controls, so he has his own uh, profile. It's a little bit more difficult. That game is <laughs> not, the, yeah, not Daddy's he, profile. Eh? He cannot play under mine. <laughs> Daddy's I need going mine intact. <laughs> Um, especially when all the weapons break. I don't want him breaking all my weapons and then I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, you so, know he would too, like on a tree. Yeah. Like oh, be, for sure. For sure. Instant grounding. So, uh, yeah, no, it's been a great experience with Zelda. My youngest uh, gets in on some Mario Odyssey and Mario Kart action, 
which is、uh, kind of cool to see. And then, yeah, I've been playing Battlefront 2. So I kind of wanted to get them into PC gaming a little bit too, just to get used to the keyboard and control, like a, a mouse. Just that helps with, that actually does help with schoolwork and stuff where everything's touchscreen、mm. now, but they have the、mm. laptops that are not touchscreen. So you, when you walk into a classroom and you see the kids just touching the screen with no reaction, you're like, nope, they, they haven't learned mouse yet. They、that、don't is, know. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best thing. Not, I find that with the TV too. It's, yep. Any screen, yep. they just want to touch it because that's been their introduction to technology. Like, why yeah, can't I touch this one? Exactly. It's kind of like a good question. Why can't you? <laughs> <Yeah> . Daddy didn't pay you the extra dollars for that function. so The innocence of babes. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So, what I'm, the other thing I suppose I'm hearing is that the Nintendo Switch was a fantastic family investment for you. You know what? I would say yes, it was a fantastic family <laughs> investment, like you said,、oh. investment. And I encourage you, among other new dads, to purchase <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that, that would really help with my gaming to do list, wouldn't it? Just go ahead and get a whole new system. Portable. Port, it's portable. portable. You can play all sorts of games on there. You can play Diablo 3s coming out,、uh, Dark Souls, I think. A bunch of others. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Street Fighter's on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, Dark Souls. That, that sounds great, Jeff. With、it、my gaming、like、dad time and my list of games I have to beat,、Both、I'm going、do. to <laughs> purchase a Switch with Dark Souls. Real yeah, nice. It's a possibility. It's going to come. <laughs> I'll just make a post about it and then maybe you'll consider it. Oh. <laughs> that page swayed me. Yeah, yeah. The, only, the only post I saw was around.、Um, so Creed comes out tonight、yes. um, for PSVR.、Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about that boxing game because, you know, I'm pining for any boxing game and, this, and a VR one of this caliber. And again, like, shout out to the previous、uh, boxing game. Oh, shoot. Is it Knockout League? Is that what thank, it was? Thank you, Knockout League.、Yeah. That, one does, that also looks fantastic. So I don't want to.、Yeah. Um, that one would have also been a good purchase, but this one to me just seemed a bit more、yeah. towards the fight night that I've been missing.、Right. So you're playing that tonight, right? Because it launches at midnight? I am、yeah. not. That is so <laughs> late. I am so tired. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. I'd like to, man, if a, a younger man, I'd consider it, but baby don't care when I go to bed. Baby gonna get up when baby wants to get up. <laughs>、yeah. um, it would have been funny to record that though. You're just asleep in VR and have, have the other fighter just beat you in submission. Yeah, it's just, 11. Yeah, or even better, it's like it's 11 45. I almost made it. Yeah. Almost made it there. I'm just sleeping in my VR helmet. <laughs> Hashtag dad failed. Yep. But some dads hardly fail at all. Some dads are doing a great job, and those dads win. Gaming Dad Victory of the Week. Each week we feature a gaming dad who is doing fatherhood and gaming so well.、Uh, this week's Gaming Dad Victory goes to YL, who submitted an excellent photo to the New Dad Gaming Facebook group showing other dads it's possible to mix your current reality with a virtual one.、Uh, Jeff, why don't you run us through the photo that YL submitted to us? So, this is a,、uh, it's a pretty awesome photo with a fellow PSVR owner. Yes.、Uh, <laughs> totally in virtual reality with his kids behind him. At what looks like Christmas time, there's a Christmas tree there. So, it looks like everybody's enjoying what he's playing. He's off in his own reality, and <laughs> his daughters are behind him waiting for his next move. I'm not sure what <laughs> game he's playing, but it looks like they're all interested in it. So, that、oh. hats off to a PSVR owner. That's amazing. Yeah, and the best part too, the kids,、um, the look on the kids' faces too, like they're clearly engaged with whatever he's seeing. Yeah, yeah. So, and, you know, as we've mentioned many times, like one of the coolest things with VR is that interactivity with those still in the room. So you're not,、yeah. you are not just by yourself playing it off, but here he is. He, he's living the dream. He has got a headset on, his two daughters, like right behind、yeah. him, holding on to him, no less. Like that is.、Yeah. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> have, you, have you had a chance to have your kids nearby while you played your VR? I believe so. Yeah, I,、um, they usually want to play the one where they look on screen and then I'm in the VR headset, which is great. I have had them try it on for a couple minutes. You know, you're not really supposed to, but,、uh, and they experienced it and it was a pretty cool experience.、Um, what well, I will say is having his kids. So close behind him would scare the living daylights out of me. Just <laughs> that unknown hand that grabs you, you know, hey daddy, and you're in VR is a、yeah. little bit unnerving, even well, in the fun games. <laughs> All we can hope is that he's not playing any type of boxing games, so that he's going to be <laughs> yeah, flailing back、right. his elbows.、Yeah. 
But yeah. um, as I said, he has gone into that virtual reality while still dealing with his current reality. And if there's anything that gets our hearts racing as far as a Gaming Dead victory, it's PSVR with kids involved. <laughs> so absolute kudos, a well-deserved Gaming Dead victory of the week. Congratulations. If you would like to be nominated for Gaming Dead Victory of the Week or know somebody else deserving, please reach out to us <clears throat> on our Facebook group or through our website, newdadgaming.com. And New Dads, listen up as we go over to this week's highlights and what happened in the world of gaming. Well, to start, some unfortunate news. Late last week, we heard that Telltale Games will be closing down its stores forever. The studio responsible for the choose-your-own-adventure type style games for The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Minecraft, and many other series has been whittled down from 200 employees to a skeleton staff of just 25 to carry out a remaining project for Netflix. This meant that the series of Wolf Among Us and the final season for Walking Dead were left cancelled. Well, not all is lost as a few investors have shown interest in the past days for the remaining season of The Walking Dead, so season pass holders might see the story end without having a cliffhanger. As for the staff that lost their jobs, thoughts go out to them and hope they land on their feet. Amazon is now in the gaming world and it's showing off its new MMO called The New World. While the video is only brief showing environments, the ambitious game will have hundreds of hundreds of players battling for new land, killing monsters, or killing each other in a supernatural sandbox world. This will be Amazon's first big entry into the game world after cancelling their other AAA title, Breakaway, earlier this year. We'll see what Amazon can do in the gaming market knowing that they own one of the giant gaming streaming services called Twitch. So stay tuned and see what happens with the new world. And are you hyped for Red Dead Redemption 2 yet? Well, details have been slowly dripping from the studio leading up to its October release. They have touted over 200 species of animals that will all behave differently according to different situations and environments. This comes on top of Rockstar saying that every single NPC in the game will be able to be interacted with, most having multiple ways to interact with them. Maybe walk up to them with your gun drawn, maybe they run or not say anything to you, walk up to them drunk and maybe they'll laugh or try to rob you. This game sounds so immense and awful all at the same time for consuming the new dad gaming's limited time available for gaming. So anybody up for that challenge can go for it when Red Dead Redemption 2 launches in October 26th. And sick of microtransactions yet. Well, another fan favorite has been added to that pile. Devil May Cry 5 will reportedly have in-game purchases. Yes, that's right, the game that features collectible red orbs, kind of like Mario with its coins, acts like the game's currency that can now be purchased in order to buy extra moves and skills. In response, a Capcom rep has said, and I quote, giving people the ability to purchase red orbs, it's something we want to give people as an option. If they want to save time and they just want to give all the stuff done at once, those people can do that. Well, color us unimpressed, and it's a warning to any dads out there looking to pick this game up in the future. As for game releases this week, some highlights include Valkyra Chronicles 4 for the all, all the consoles, FIFA 19 and Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition for PS4 Xbox One, Creed Rise to Glory for PSVR, and Towerfall and South Park Stick of Truth for the Switch. That's it for the gaming news this week. Catch a nap and tune in next week for another update. And this week we are wrapping up our beer celebration from the end of summer and to give a bit of a spoiler on my thoughts on it uh what a way <laughs> to go out this is delicious <laughs> we are drinking good lot from farmstead brewing co a farmstead ale uh, and it is i am absolutely adoring this uh how are you finding it i hope positive now that i've kind of played my hand yeah you kind of showing your it actually is quite good and i was I was thrown off by the can. If anybody picks this up, there's kind of, I thought they were lemons. They are not lemons. But I, for some reason, was expecting this weird citrus taste to it, but it's actually quite good. I don't, I'm not sure what's in it though. There's something there. I can't put my finger on it. It's not grapefruit. It's not banana. I don't yeah, know see, what I'm, else is in it. It's something sweet though. Yeah, see, I'm being tricked too, because again, my mind, it's almost in seeing the visual, you kind of start to go towards lemon. But yeah, I don't or something think like that. Right? It's almost like a bit of citrus, I think, but if it's there, it's certainly kind of in Subtle, the background right? of it. So yeah. interesting with this. Uh, so this is all from the Green Belt here in Ontario, coming from a place in um, Caledon, no less. Yeah, super local. It's, 
all local grown. So this this isn't like sourced hops. This isn't brought in from anywhere else. This is everything straight from the green yeah. belt here in Ontario. So now I know that they're going to have a bit more of a, a wider distribution to LCBOs. Uh, we'll kind of see how far they do have a reach, but um, yeah. yeah, this is, this is a really delicious. It' a bit on the strong side at um, <laughs> six point <laughs> two. About to say, it is it is strong, so you, <laughs> yeah. you better be sitting down for one of these. So. Yeah, but I'm enjoying because it, it has that. Um, it's got that hoppiness to it without being the entire thing just being hops. So it's got that hint of hops. Yep. Um, it's definitely an ale in so much as having that kind of flavor profile. And I swear, it's almost like a citrus, but not quite. I want to be careful I'm saying so. I don't know what so, it is. I, look, I need to look it up after this. I'm not sure. <laughs> but again, yeah, not, description. not strong. It's per, it's a good cold beer to have. So. Yeah, I, I swear there might not be even a, the slightest hint of citrus, but because you're looking at something that looks so reminiscent of lemons, it's I almost know, like it I, brings you there. Not gonna look, I'm not going to look at the can. You could definitely <laughs> see it among all the other cans, though. This thing is bright yellow with black and white kind of design on it, so yeah, be sure to pick the, it up. This is absolutely another purchase for me, though. This is a delicious beer. I'm, I'm really happy that we ended off on this one because this is really fabulous. This is definitely going to get into my uh, rotation. And yeah, you know, all the sure. better because it's uh, so super local in Ontario. And I'm hoping yeah. that they definitely find some distribution further out. So cheers. Uh, if you do see good lot um, in any of the LCBOs or hopefully further out, uh, I think new dads would highly recommend it. Yeah, for sure. Maybe not too many, though. It is 6.2. No, 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 and you don't. have kids. Just for birthdays. <laughs> Just birthdays. <laughs> How the, um, the news about Telltale really for me came out of left field like that was super surprising to see them shut yeah. down because it the market is flooded with their games like it's just it seems like every other week it's a uh the next uh walking dead's coming out or uh game of thrones or borderlands like it yep so many games Apparently like how did, they, they how did were... that news strike you when it came about uh, it was a sh- it was kind of a shock. I saw it on uh, Twitter, and apparently it was a shock to the staff too, which they didn't know. So they were given thirty minutes to get out. Uh, so it okay. all came pretty quick. But I guess they've been uh, floundering for a while. Not I don't think any of their games made their money back. I think one did uh, out of all of them, and it was an odd one. I can't remember it off the top of my head. But it was it was not. It was maybe the Minecraft ones, but. Hmm. Borderlands ones, Walking Dead ones, they are were not making money for the studio. At least not enough to carry them. So it's Man, that's totally like, unfortunate. That's Hopefully the, everybody surpri- gets a job. I, that's just really surprising because they seem to have such fanfare to them. There was the Batman series that seemed yep. super interesting. Game of Thrones. They had a whole bunch. They were just locking down licenses, which might have been... Maybe that was the expensive part was to get the license mm. and the voice acting going. But because it was all I, the I same engine... Like, now I own a like maybe one or two of The Walking Dead, but not I didn't go out and buy them specifically. Like they were kind of part of like a bundle that I purchased, yep. and I've never played them. Like they're just something. In so much as that, a I can't really speak to them, but also no, yeah, yeah. I was never really compelled to play them so much, despite what um, all the good reviews I had heard about it. Yeah, well, the, the only I, thing that really the other thing that kind of turned me off was it because of, of the sequential nature of it. <clears throat> there's always a thought in my head and this goes for any titles like that like game one of six yes. right where it's just like that's if you know and if i get locked into this series if i'm really excited about it yeah and you're not gonna finish it like that that's super bothersome right yeah i remember there was um one time with the uh, it's called a rain soaked print oh no there's the Penny Arcade with the uh, the comic strip. They oh had, yeah, yeah. They had yeah. produced a they had produced a game on the rain soaked precipices of dangerous or darkness or something yep. like that. Yeah, and it's the same thing. Like they had produced uh, the first two games, had some terrible blowout with the developers or the internally, and they barely got the third one produced. They had an entirely different <laughs> game style and everything else for the third just to get the thing out there. But they barely finished the story. So imagine going two games deep. Yeah. And no payoff. You know? Yeah. yeah now, have, you, have you ever held off on a sequential game for that reason? Or am I just... 
Um, no, crazy. very much so, especially when they're uh, really far into the episodes. It's like catching up on a Netflix show and you have to kind of binge watch, which is very mm. different than binge gaming. <laughs> so for you to go through <laughs> all those episodes kind of one after another, um, it's it's hard. And especially when they're all kind of an individual uh, downloads or across a series. I remember getting the first Walking Dead one because I liked Choose Your Own Adventure books as a kid and having characters remember uh, your choices was an interesting thing to me, but then it kind of grew a little bit tiresome where I found out the endings weren't all that different. Mm. Um, I wanted, specifically in a game about choice, I wanted them to be very different endings. Um, and maybe if I followed it enough, that would be the case, but I just found the payoff, like you said, is it's not enough at um, with the episodic way of doing things. I have never really liked episodic games that way i'd wait until they all kind of come out as a collection mm. and then grab them because then you're guaranteed an ending for one um because they would all be produced and and it'll be a lot cheaper at that point too where everything's kind of together and all the kinks are worked out so yeah i mean the, the hitman though. series kind of seemed interesting for that <clears throat> their most recent um game where it's episode i don't know how much of a story thread was really throughout all of them i think it was much more about imagine like uh, just unbelievably sized game where each level is like such intricate detail it's massive right but as opposed okay. to the game call comes out all at once it's a level at a time yeah right and that's what the hitman series did and apparently to at least from everything i had heard very well received acclaim so you're kind of purchasing it a level at a time yeah and, and i think they're pretty reasonable with their pricing too so that wasn't really a like gouging maneuver is more like they were finishing it and then kind of tweaking as it went. So they kept yeah. releasing like one level and you got to buy that level, play it 30 times. Like they kept uh, releasing challenges for it. So it was kind of interesting. So th there's ways about it. But yeah, like episodic storytelling. And then if they don't finish it, yeah. that, that's <laughs> too much, man. It just gets brutal. Like no, what happens now if they don't uh, finish Moss? Like what if there is no Moss 2? Well, that's what I mean. You're kind of left. You're left at that cliffhanger you loved uh, hey, so God, much. God, so, damn that have cliffhanger! Man. <laughs> yeah, and that's with kind of any game uh, that you're just kind of on the fence about, and you, uh, the future of stuff like that. It's hard to throw to the next game. Even Last of Us uh, could have been just that's the end, right? And it could have survived mm -hmm. as such. They don't need to make a sequel now. They made room to make a sequel, but if they ever went under, which they will never do with this one um <laughs> you could just survive on last of us and that would be it like it was a complete story the sequel is taking it further which i'm fine with but to leave a thread open so you can kind of mm -hmm. cash in on that a little bit eh, it's leaving a door but, um, open for disappointment too <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, you know it's a shame and as you said i think um i've heard of a couple big bigger studios reaching out to those folks Yep. Um, to offer jobs and such so I mean it's, it's some talented people so I'm sure they'll yep. end up in good places so you know sad gaming moment but such is yeah. the, uh, the life reality, and death yeah, of right. studios now as our resident gaming dad Red Dead fan yep how uh, how you feeling about your big game there buddy I know right oh my god I'm not <laughs> going to be able to complete this thing um, <laughs> for those that don't know I have pre-ordered this game uh, it's <laughs> been sitting in there. Bad sins. It all comes around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting in there since it was announced at E3 because Amazon had an E3 sale. So $49 is going to get me this game, which this game will never get down to $49, Canadian at least, uh, for a while, if Grand Theft Auto is any example. Um, so it's been sitting in my Amazon inbox for two years. Uh, it's finally ready to come out at the end of October, and this game sounds enormous. It sounds too big. It sounds like with every NPC that can talk to me, no, I don't mm. want that. I want the ones blinking with the quest. Like, I want yeah. the quest givers, the ones that I need to get that equipment to complete the game. Because that's what I want. I'll interact with other people later. I'll never do it. But as as a dad gamer, I need the quest givers. I don't I don't want everybody else. So it would be a dad mode where it's just like turn off everybody except those I have to talk to. I gotta I gotta <laughs> yeah. go through this. <laughs> just give me the main just one of the main quests and then I can just you know, gallop around the world later if I want. But, but I think it speaks well to some of the fears was that it was gonna be too influenced by GTA mm -hmm. five online. There wasn't gonna be enough Absolutely. story, it was really just gonna be a sandbox 
you know, microtransaction world. But from yeah. the sounds of it, like it looks like there's a lot of content cranked in there. So yeah, it, I, it sounds like it's boding well. And we'll certainly find out with your your thorough <laughs> red dead yeah. review. Will yeah, give you me stay some, up? Will you stay up till time. midnight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll stay up in the midnight and press X to download, and then uh, then walk oh. away and go to bed. <laughs> We don't, uh, buddy. You could have been playing uh, it already. Don't you I don't worry know. about that. It's gonna be enormous, enormous game, <laughs> and I won't uh. play it online. There's no, there's no way I'm not doing yeah. that. I didn't play GTA Five online. I'm not playing this. Hashtag I'm a dad, never online. Hashtag don't got money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but on those wonderful notes, we will wrap it up for the week. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This has been New Dad Gaming. If if you'd like to subscribe to the podcast, you can find us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and any of the other podcasting services. If you have a Gaming Dad Victory of the Week, uh, we'd love to hear from you on our Facebook group or on uh, the website itself. And again, with those places, please come on to our Facebook group. Uh, we're on Twitter. And of course, the website, as mentioned, newdadgaming.com. If you can like the podcast, leave a comment on the podcast. If you don't like the podcast and want to send us notes about why you don't so we can improve it, we'd very much like to hear that as well. We're trying to reach out to as many gaming dads as possible. Hey, gents, we got to stick together. So what can I say? <laughs> so would appreciate a like, subscribe, and a share to any other new dad who games. Until next week, my name is Trevor, and I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. And I'm Jeff. I have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. <laughs> See you next week. See you later.
Gaming Dad Victory of the Week. Each week we feature an exceptional gaming dad, and often their kids, who are doing fatherhood and gaming so well. If you would like to be nominated or know somebody else deserving, please get a hold of us at our website, newdadgaming.com.